Hiya Keith, hope you found today helpful. Good to see you swinging the club better by the end of the session. Just got to make sure now that we're swinging this club underneath what we call the swing plane line. If we put these two lines here now on the setup, you'll see on the left hand side as you're going back, making a fairly good back swing to about here. But what we unfortunately find are the arms start working up. The left arm gets a little bit too high, especially for a driver. And from here now, you can see we are over the top of that red line. So the club now is coming out to win. The information you're going to give the golf ball is open club face with a left swinging club. That's going to give us a slice off to the right. So what you then try and do now is just swing it as hard left as you can, just to hope to start it somewhere on target. But unfortunately, as we can see in this follow through position, all the way on the back foot, not a very consistent move there. Golf ball is going to be generally flying low left or high right. So the sensation we want to try and create, as we said, just feel like it's swinging the club underneath this red line. You can see now on the right-hand side, a much better movement. Arms are staying underneath that red line, which on the back swing wasn't too bad. On the way down was the big issue. If you look at this movement now, we can see the club now tracking underneath that red line, nice and perfectly on plane, bringing that club now back into the golf ball in a much better position. If we could deliver the club to the golf ball, starting the ball more toward the target line, and then through up on that left side. Ideally, obviously the lower half would work a little bit more, so this foot would be up on its toe. But as we said, we can practice those exercises. We did notice a little bit of stiffness there on that left hip and your range of motion in an anti-clockwise turning ways. So we can just practice that movement there with the hip, just turning to face target, just to ease up that joint there. And I'm sure you'll find that lower half will start moving a lot more easily through the golf ball. So just feel that swing underneath that red line. And I'm sure you'll find the information you give the golf ball with the driver will certainly result in straighter shots, nice little fade down the fairway rather than the big slice off to the right. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously, you can give me a shout. I'll see you in three weeks. Cheers, Keith.